Fish 50 states, number eight of 50, Oklahoma. And Eastern Oklahoma Guide Service put us on some good fish. Look at this spoonbill, also known as a paddlefish. About to gut him up, about to flay him for me. That's what you meant by how you do a deer, because you string it up. Okay, I get it. String it up. Okay, so he's starting at the tail. When I do my tutorials, I always want people that zoom in kind of like this, where you can actually see what's going on, they never do. Twisting the tail. Looks like some of that I'm skin's still there. It, trying to break that bone right there. Break the bone, okay. Got a little bit of, without cutting it completely off. I told you it had a little bit of red meat around the tail. You can see the red meat. Yeah. Right at the back fin. There it is. It didn't work. Uh-oh. Didn't work. But bleed them out. But, uh, when you break that bone, it bleeds them out? Oh, yeah, it's bleeding. But uh, see this. That's the only thing in the fish you can't eat. That piece right there? That yep. Spinal cord. Yeah, see that? That's the only part you can't eat. Everything else is good to go. See, that's the bone. That's actual bone in the fish. Yeah. That's how hard it is. That's crazy. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's bone for real. Yeah. But it's just hard cartilage. That's all it is. But... Whatever meat you get out of it, I'll take it all. I've never had it before, so I'll eat it all. Might as well. This is going behind the, what's that, the pectoral fin? Yep. Going behind the pectoral fin, along the gills. Well, not along the gills, just barely along the gills. And then cutting down, he's getting all the belly meat right now, guys. Watch your mouth. Sorry. <laughs> See the gray line? Yep, follow the gray and white line. Behind the bottom fins. What are the bottom fins called? Uh, I don't know, dorsal fins. Uh, I could just call them belly fins. Belly fins, okay. But... You wanna bring the trash bag? Yep. Off. Here comes all the guts. It's basically just like doing a deer. It's cut out the top and it falls out. Uh, as you can see, this was a male. In Oklahoma, all the other names were back in the Okay, so there's another weird law. In Wyoming, you're not allowed to throw exactly. your carcasses back into the lake. In Oklahoma, you're allowed to, especially for a spoonbill, so your eggs and stuff or anything of that nature can be Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. Uh, that's why I was telling you about they put so much back in the lake themselves. Yeah, when they do the filleting themselves. Yeah. Again, follow right here behind this. Yep, right behind the pectoral, or the gill. Let's call it right pectoral. You realize that this is where your cartilage runs down the fish. Okay. And so, if there's no bone, you'll just cut right through it if you ain't careful. So be careful on the cut along the spine. It's cartilage. If you guys are wondering where you can catch some spoonbill, it's Eastern Oklahoma Guide Service that does this. Over here in Oklahoma, obviously, because it's Oklahoma Guide Service. Don't you run from him, fish.
running down the cartilage right now to get the main fillets. Can you guys guess what we're having for dinner tonight? <laughs> Hamburger. Yep, ham, ham, spoonbill burger. See right where it was starting to turn into red meat? Yeah. That's why I cut so much of the tail off. Okay. Why well, you don't have the red meat. Makes sense. There's the semen sacks. Is that the semen sacks? Yep. Oh, yeah, cool. Yep. Just like any of the rest of your fish you clean. Uh, some guys will cut this out yep. because of the white meat, mm -hmm. or you can lay it on newspaper and it'll pull it off for you. Really? It'll save the meat. Okay. Yeah. You guys hear that? You lay it on newspaper and it'll pull off that the intestinal skin of the stomach. Yes. That's awesome. But there's your ribs mm -hmm. if you want to fill them. Yep. You can eat it. You can eat the ribs? Yeah. There's, wow, there's yeah, cartilage. that's cartilage. You, that's crazy. That's like, not a bone, guys. There's not bone. There's the only thing like a bone. Only part that's an actual bone or somewhat like a bone is this main spinal cord right and there. And his head. That's and his it. head, the hard. Oh, yeah, he got that's, a hard that's head. That's it. When they uh, do the shadow boxes of these, the bill and three or four bones right here is it. Everything oh, really? Is. Yep. There's no other bones in this fish. Going back down the spinal cord. I've never seen a fish filleted by being strung up either. That's really cool. Kind of tied up to a tree right here, guys. Isn't that nuts? Oh man, Pritchard's got a guy that works for him. Mm -hmm. that he can do this in just a couple of minutes. He's twice as fast as I am. I'm a pretty good fillet, but I've never filleted a spoonbill. Otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, I'll do it, you know? Oh, you could have done it. <coughs> yeah, I could. The uh, only thing you gotta watch for, like I said, is that backbone. It's so soft, you'll cut through it if you're not real careful. So do you use a very sharp knife when you do spoonbills or fillet? Or he uses yeah. a very sharp fillet knife instead of a dull one. Sometimes I use a dull knife, depending on the fish I'm using, uh, cutting up. I could probably use one. I just always sharp is better. Yeah, that makes sense. But you slip with it, and you <laughs> go get stitches. Oh yeah. I might have to free some of this meat up and take it home for some of my friends to eat. So I caught some bonnet head shark in Florida. I laid it up, was gonna cook it on the road, do a catch and cook on the road. Yeah. And I forgot it at my sister's house in her freezer. I was so mad. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right guys, is that all that you get out of it? That's all that we get and the rest goes in? Yep. All right guys, that concludes the tutorial on how to fillet a spoonbill. As you can see, we cut off the tail about, I don't know, we'll say four inches up from the tip so that the red meat comes out. The rest is all white meat. Yep, that's... See how red it was getting? Yeah. And so that's all your red meat. The rest is all white. You can, you, you, want can, to you, can you can toss it. There ain't no way I'm gonna be able to bring that back and not stink up my Jeep. Yep. Or I would definitely keep it. If I can keep this little spoon thing, I would. <laughs> but, all right, guys. I think that concludes the tutorial. We out here, we doing it. Fish 50 states, number eight of 50. Bank boy's getting it. Everyday peak trap fisherman on the rise. He's got another one to fillet up right there. But y'all ain't gotta see that. You already learned how. Teach kids to fish, teach kids to fillet. Everyday peak trap fisherman is signing out. Over here in Oklahoma. Tie lines. <laughs>